there welcome back to my channel I have a hungry root package to open today so we're doing an unboxing of hungry root I have done home chef I have done um, HelloFresh and we did HelloFresh for quite a while um, I changed from HelloFresh and stopped getting it because it stopped having quality ingredients um, it was really hard to stop and start deliveries whenever you did that back and forth and later on it got easier but for a while it was like that and then whenever you try to get some customer service it's like really hard to get a hold of somebody to stop the cancellation it was like okay obviously you don't want me to stop but I get it but it's all about customer service for me all the time so hungry root is really easy to start stop the website itself is a little difficult to manage through and figure out when you don't want something how to eliminate off of it and when you do want something um how to choose it and add it and it's all by numbers so you get like 64 or 96 or some number and each item food item is a certain amount and so you add to that and subtract from it based on those amounts that are on the numbers when you get the hungry root email and go track your account so here's the hungry root box and the reason i did hungry root is because i wanted it to be it's huge for not very much stuff so i'm kind of confused um healthier items so there are some healthier items the chimichurri beef and veggie stir fry we had last night really good the quality of products seem to be better than the other ones i've tried um, so it all comes like this. Oh my goodness, it's such a big box. So it comes like this. You get your recipes instead of like one per page, they're saving on that. You get it like this. So I took the three package. So there's three different recipes here. They are somewhat tricky to read. For me, it's okay because um, I read everything multiple times anyway. I'm just kind of my OCD with it, but they are meals from like 14 minutes, 13 minutes, 22 minutes. Super easy. There's a veggie bowl, a tangy pepper beef zucchini stir fry, beef short ribs with mashed potatoes, broccoli. I did mashed sweet potatoes. I edited because we just had that plus um, we don't like sweet potatoes all the time. So I edited that out. So I just have the broccoli with the beef ribs. And then you can also pick grocery, separate grocery items as well. So um, the haul comes like this. And they have snacks. And then the meat will be behind this little package there. So I have baby spinach. So it's like groceries basically, instead of like all in one package, like the other food services have, all in one package, um, set amount, you basically get groceries that you're going to be using. The mushrooms. And they all, like the asparagus is like nearly frozen. I've already had the asparagus before, it is super good. Um, feta cucumber tizzini, tzatziki dip, sorry, I said that wrong. Um, so really excited about that. So I was excited to have that in the tzatziki shawarma chicken veggie bowl. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I am really excited about that because it also comes with fresh shallot, tinky black pepper for that pepper recipe I was telling you. And you can see it does have like their hungry root there. Um, there's some um, red peppers because it was a beef red pepper. So look at this quality. Like it's all really good um, quality food that they provide you. You do have to do it, of course, like any fresh good food um, quality. You do have to do it pretty fast. So there's two big baby spinach things there. That's I'm guessing gonna go with. And it does show you the ingredients on each recipe. So all of that spinach. It seems to be a lot. Um, Truly Farm spinach. spinach comes with the chicken veggie bowl. They don't have the pictures. I wish they did have pictures here. Um, they don't have those there, so you have to go back into your account to see what the picture looks like to give the comparison and like, okay, which one was that that I picked or that they gave me based on my preferences because you do a quiz first, how many people, what do you like, what kind of diet are you on, what are you looking to do with this? So mine, of course, was be healthier, healthier meals. My family size is smaller, so I don't have as much. That's why I was like, oh, this is kind of a lot of spinach for my family size. So we'll see, maybe the veggie bowl just has that much spinach in it. Okay, so another, this is a lot. 
I'm the only one in my family eats mushrooms, so I may save one of these, and I did that with the last recipes as well. I had to save one of these and use it um, for just like another thing that I was doing. So I may be doing that again. Um, here's the zucchini for that zucchini meal. Broccoli florets are in here. So like I said, then you also oh get some grocery items. Oh, here's the shallots for the recipe. So all of these are, are really good quality um, groceries. Then there's just extra snack and grocery things you can get. So the ones I got this time are a Sucker Punch Gourmet Kosher Dill Pickles. Then there is a stuffed snack. So these are stuffed pizza snacks. I thought my husband would like, so um, got that. It's called like Late Night Pizza. And then Mighty Spark Chicken Snack Sticks. I got one of these in the last one too. I have not tried it. It's a different brand and everything. So I am glad to have these. I like having it by itself or just with cheese. There is something getting on me from the box. Um, then, like I said, the meat will be under this. So you can see all the frozen meat in there kind of packaged up differently and it comes like this. So this is the seasoned chicken and it is like vacuum sealed in there. So I do like that they do that. It's nice and fresh for longer. Here is my pro we had a cold milk drinkable yogurt. That was another grocery item. Very cold in there, but it is like eight degrees here right now. So then, oh, this is frozen. Better Booch Sparkling Probiotic Goodness Kambuka. Yeah, this is my peach and black tea morning glory. So that's in there too. That's frozen. Whew. I didn't get to this right away outside, so it's good. It's like so cold outside. These are the grownless pork chops. Um, so they are pretty small. So the meat portions are pretty small there, but it seemed what I made last time seemed to be filling. So um, grilled boneless pork chops. So it is my honest opinion. I'm hungry, for, of course, obviously. Then these are the thin cut beef strips in this bag. They're all together separately in this bag, and there seem to be a lot of them. Um, so it must be, this is like a serving size of four, it looks like. So. That's what they look like. They're vacuum sealed like this. The last thing I did, did um, the beef strips were kind of like that, and you just had to drain them, and that's everything. Then it comes with that little ice pack, which actually is reusable or recyclable, and so that's cool. I did save the last one for our cooler. Um, so that's Hungry Root. That is the kind of stuff that come in the Hungry Root for four servings, three different recipes, plus you get extra groceries to just stock your fridge with. So that's fun, and it's fun that way to try new things too. Um, so I just wanted to show you the honest review of Hungry Root and what it was. Um, you do get to pick out, they pick things for you, and then you can change it up if you want and edit it up to that certain date, which is like three days before I think you get it. Then it shows, tells you when it's coming, tells you when it's delivered, and, it lets you know, um, it did not let you know when payment was coming out for it or when they were doing that. That is another bad thing I did not like. Um, but it did tell me when it was delivered what you think. Here are the recipes. So it doesn't just have that white recipe. You can also go to your account and get the recipes. Um, they send you them through email. So that is good stuff too. So I wanted to show you guys Hungry Root today. Thank you so much for checking out my channel again. I'm going to mark this as Hungry Root um, description. And let me know what you guys think. If you've tried Hug Your Root, tell me in the comments what you think of it and um, your healthier, nicer quality options that you have seen because I, I do like that about it. Have a great day.